Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 27, Blogs in the Community Portal. The Community Portal is all about engaging with your customers and providing resources to the community that uses your products and services. In this tip, we'll look at the blog functionality offered by the Community Portal. The blog functionality allows different authors to create posts grouped within separate blogs. It also provides the ability for portal users to provide comments and ratings. Posts are grouped into individual blogs. Blogs are created in Dynamics 365 and allow administrators to configure the comment policy that applies to the posts in that blog. Comments can either be available to anyone, only to authenticated users, you can require moderation, which means that they must be approved before they are made public. Any new comments can be disabled, or comments can be turned off completely. You can override this setting on a per post basis as well if you'd like. Once created, you can manage the blog properties via front side editing. You can also associate web roles with the blog to allow authors to create new blog posts via front side editing. Blog post authors can enter a title, a summary, the content of the blog, the date, the partial URL, tags, comment policy, publish status, as well as enabling ratings. If the partial URL is left blank, one will be created automatically by combining the date and the title. Portal users have a view of all blog posts, where they can view recent posts, posts per blog, posts by tag, posts by month, as well as a keyword search. When viewing a specific post, a portal user can comment and rate it if that's been enabled by the post author. If moderation is enabled, a blog administrator must approve the comment before it is publicly visible. One thing to keep in mind is that while this functionality is great for a traditional blog, it can also be used to satisfy other requirements, like news and announcements. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 27 from Engineered Code on Blogs in the Community Portal useful.